What's up guys? We are in Tyler underscore Hellcats, Hellcat. Uh, I just made a video about five reasons why I hate the Dodge Demon, and one of those was the fact that you can now buy a Hellcat Challenger for $62,400 and then put five to ten grand in mods and make it faster than a Dodge Demon. And the fact that when you get the Demon, one, you can't race it on a track because it runs nines, it doesn't have a roll cage, and two, their whole thing is about having factory warranty, and the second you make five or ten passes on the strip, you're going to want to modify the car and there goes your warranty so you might as well start with a hellcat in the first place so this has some modifications done to it some of which i talked about actually in the dodge demon video upper and lower pulley we've got e85 and a tune and just those basic things can add a heck of a lot of horsepower this thing is pushing over a thousand crank horsepower give or take trying to keep it a little bit mysterious for the uh awesome grudge racing out in michigan but it is definitely really really quick and you said the exhaust is stock yeah stock exhaust just catless yeah so getting rid of the cats made it like absurdly louder right yeah. even the mid muffler delete helps a little bit too okay yeah the the first hellcat that i reviewed had the mid muffler delete it pretty much just sounds like a whining monster though <laughs> all yeah, you get a, a supercharger one noise. and then what kind of wheels and tires do you have um, on this thing i have et street r's in the rear uh, on some 18 inch welds and then just stock tires in the gotcha front, just 275s and they are they 275 stock in the rear? Uh, yeah, there's 275 all around. And then what do you have now? 305. Uh, 305s in the rear. Yeah. Okay, and that hooks a lot better. Way better. It dead hooks, yeah. Because it barely could hook on stock 707 horsepower. No. Yeah. And now with over a thousand, it still hooks as long as the weather's yeah. right. On this setup, it's so sketchy on the street tires. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't imagine. It's like ice skating. And then you were saying that, so you run? How come you run 30 psi in the rear? drag radials on the street just for comfort honestly. okay yeah. but you have to drop it to like 20 or 25 because once you go over 100 like even in the quarter mile the whole car just, starts yeah, to freaking right, vibrate yeah. and it's actually terrifying yeah and that's not really something you know unless you get uh super into racing which obviously yeah. putting slicks on the car matters, yeah. Well, yeah i mean people were running into the tens i think with stock hellcats just with radials on radials yeah, yeah that's pretty impressive the tens, yeah Definitely. And then this will do nines for sure. What's sure. the fastest Hellcat? Do you know? Um, I think HHP holds record for I think it's a nine two right now. Is okay, yeah, I think I saw that video. Yeah, with the full interior. So. Yeah, wow. Do you know what they did exactly? Um, same setup. They, I think they did a cam uh, heads, so a couple other things, but uh, yeah, definitely insane car. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, cam and heads are probably. Yeah only 60 or 100 more horsepower than this and yep. it's running low nines so that's crazy yeah, full bolt tons and that's oh my god do they port the blower i think they um, made the supercharger yeah you bigger. can but it doesn't really make that big of a difference yeah so stock this runs what 12 pounds of boost and now it's uh, like yeah around 12 yeah i think so over 20 uh yep around there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts yeah and have you had any daily drivability problems no daily driving's fine um the guy that tuned it tim bar is amazing um, does a really good job with his tunes. That's sweet. Uh, but yeah, drivability is awesome. Uh, no different. Than I mean, it, yeah, it feels pretty normal. Oh, yeah. Shifts it's just very loud. Yeah. That person just mounted the curb. That was, <laughs> that was overly Long aggressive. Road, really and then is that a stock boost pressure gauge? Oh, yeah. You can just go through the menus. Oh, nice. Just, yeah. just go okay. Yeah, I don't fuel. really need to know the air <laughs> fuel ratio right now. Why not, right? All right. So what have you loved about the car the most? Loves? Just like the way it dries and the way it gets, goes up. Yeah. I feel like also, realistically speaking, it's kind of inexpensive power. So like people used to say that the GTR was kind of the king of you buy a affordable supercar-ish vehicle and then you can modify it. But now yeah. the GTRs cost over hundred grand new. No, that's and true. you can get this for a sixty something new. Definitely. Although I don't know how much they've depreciated on the used market. This you, one? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think these are going around fifty. Yeah, so not all, much. Not crazy. Like, as what they didn't think it was as bad as it, as it was going to be. But yeah, definitely. The yeah. same thing kind of happened with with all of the highest end muscle cars, like yeah. the GT five hundred. That never really depreciated too much. No. GT three fifty. Yeah, the GT three fifties are doing really well right now. But yeah, I mean, fifty grand for one of these, and then putting five to ten grand worth of mods and running nines and a comfortable daily driver. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Although you can't drive this in the rain. No, and the E85 kind of gets in the way of like the daily drivability, definitely. Yeah, so you had, where's that tube? Can you bring that out? Um, so, yeah, this, 
just a fuel tester because we don't have ethanol readers in our car, so we have to test it ourselves. It takes like five minutes to like separate, but that's yeah, pretty it comes great. In handy. Because that, that's one cool thing about the GTRs is they have built in, you can kind of hack the software and get a live E85 reading. But uh, you can bring a test tube and look like yeah. a scientist while you're yeah. doing that. So <laughs> Breaking bad on the gas station. Exactly. Have you ever had people in the back? Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't look like too much space. No, yeah. It's not very usable space, so I just throw some clothes back there. Some tires sometimes. That's about it. This thing is so comfortable, though. It's so comfortable. It is. Check this out. It, <laughs> All right, so it's got three-way adjustable Bilstein shocks, and yeah, the difference between street and track suspension is kind of hilarious. Do you race on street suspension in, in a quarter street. mile? Yeah, because yeah. the weight transfer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's kind of. I, I don't even know why you would want the track suspension. No, it's it hurts. <laughs> and this weighs, I think, forty-three hundred pounds. It's like a hundred pounds lighter. Forty-five hundred pounds. Okay, it's a hundred pounds lighter than the Charger. Yep, and. This comes available in a manual transmission. Whereas the Charger only has an automatic. Although this eight-speed ZF Auto is sick. It responds so well. It's kind of a joke how much better it is than the Corvette Z06 transmission. Like that's an eight-speed, but the paddle response is absolutely laughable. Sick, yeah. So thankfully they, yeah. Thankfully they've made this transmission awesome. And all of the highest quarter, fastest quarter mile times and stuff have Are been in autos. autos yeah. I think the record's like a nine sec like a high nine second car for a uh, manual. Okay, what happens if you switch it to 500 horsepower mode yeah. when you're modified? Let's try. <laughs> I've never done that, honestly. Yeah. I don't really see a reason to. I've put it in uh, valet mode before. Yeah. And let other people drive it, but. That's interesting. Never really. Although now that you've tuned the car, your red key is, like yeah. the black key is the same, Yeah, it right? does the same. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello. One of the best parts about this car is definitely the license plate that says it's a V6 and then has a 1320 video sticker on the back. So anybody who really knows anything about Hellcats or fast cars is probably going to not mess with you. No. Bikes like to mess with you. Yeah. Well, bikes are unfair. <laughs> I kind of want a bike just for that reason. You can get one for so cheap. I'd kill myself. That's the problem. Yeah. I don't think I can get one either because I'd, <laughs> I'd get a starter bike like 600 cc's which probably already is too much as a starter yeah and then i accelerate like four times and be like okay Let's i'm used it. to it and then <laughs> i would get over like over. A, some 1400 cc <laughs> bike <laughs> and just blow up in midair catch a wheelie and just never come back down those are hard to ride too really yeah what gear does it start getting traction from um like second yeah. depends on the weather no. What do you mean a dead hooks? Oh, it, it hooks. Yeah. In fourth? Yeah. You'll see. You'll have to drive and see All what right. it feels like. This thing is really easy to drive, though. No, it is. It's got a heated steering wheel, heated seats, which All is probably place. not things you want to have to have activated while trying to use all the power like i feel like it should be a little warmer out yeah. than having to use the yeah. heated steering wheel <laughs> what have been your least favorite parts of the car um cup holders definitely one why they're too small no you just hit them with your arm oh okay all right um build quality is not so good definitely not what, compared what to other of? cars uh just like the plastics are really cheap gotcha um just it seems like they could have used definitely Any of my other cars, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't compare. But I mean, that's not why you're buying this car. Yes. No, exactly. Can't really complain. Anything else? Uh, the blind spots are a joke. Blind space, yeah. Like, Definitely. if it didn't have blind spot monitoring, little indicators in the mirrors, you would be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Okay. All right, it's really fast. <laughs> Dang, that shifts harder too. Yeah, definitely. It's not even in the aggressive setting too. All right, put it in the aggressive setting. Just make sure that traction's reasonably on. Score, yeah. Right. Was it spinning? It fell a tiny yeah, bit, but at the beginning. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely uh, extremely fast. This car is a really good mix of awesome exhaust note and then aggressive supercharger wine. Some cars you only hear the supercharger, or some you only hear the exhaust, but you definitely hear a ton of both. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, dude? 
That is so fast. Yeah. All right, that's I one of the. My phone. <laughs> you lost your phone. Yeah, it fell cool. out of your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the fastest cars I've ever driven. Holy crap! And that's a pull at on the highway. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine. From forty, it's a monster, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's disturbing. No, it is. And it hooks at decent temperature. And it's full bolt on too. Like yeah. Bolts. Yeah. So how much? Has any so no one's pushed farther than nine two? That's kind of surprising. Nine oh. I wonder what. Well, yeah. I wonder what you. What else you could do? Um, you can do like heads cam. That's coming out. Parts okay. are like. What about a bigger supercharger? Uh, yeah, the Demon has a bigger supercharger, yeah. so that could be an option. Like, like that's a great platform because maybe we could bring it down to this platform and use all the parts off the Demon. That's true. That's transfer. true. That would be awesome. But yeah, I wonder how hard that would be to add a trans brake. I guess we'll see, right? Yeah. Like, there's like strategy involved in doing pulls in this because it's so fast. You gotta have like that. Catch up the right <laughs> the right setup. Well, we got a half mile straight away coming up. No traffic around. <laughs> 59.7 degrees with an eastern wind at 3 miles an hour. All systems go. All systems go. <laughs> <laughs> These buttons right here. Yeah. Those aren't garage door openers. No. Those are like <laughs> safety check systems. All systems go. It All drives right. normal though. Good luck everybody else. <laughs> Changing <laughs> lanes into Challenger. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah, that's really fast. Yeah. Damn. Well, if you guys want to check out more of this car, make sure to follow Tyler underscore Hellcat on Instagram. Thanks for letting me drive yeah, this no car, problem, dude. Yeah, this thing is sure. a monster. Like, that's kind of an understatement. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Changing lanes in a Challenger once again. That's like really gravity. scary. Like gravity. <laughs>